Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Confessions of a Food Junkie. Uh, so it has been a lot of days since my last confession and oh my gosh. So I started in my last video talking about um, these snack attacks, major, major snack attacks that I've been having. So here's the thing, I have been craving like crazy, cravings, weird cravings, like I've craved peanut butter, which I like peanut butter, but I could probably go six months to a year without even touching peanut butter. But I've been craving peanut butter. And I have these peanut butter cookies that I've been craving and I have been eating. I wish I had a bag, but I'm going to insert a picture so you guys can see. It's a little pouch about yay big. Um, and I've been craving them. And I've been sneaking them in. Staying within my calories, um, but sneaking them in. Okay, so the truth is, like, I'll sneak a few extra in than what um, the suggested, suggested serving size says. Although I still think that I'm within my calories, but I haven't really been recording those few extras. So, last night... I opened up pack number two. Pack number one lasted forever, weeks, at least two weeks or more. And I opened up the second pack yesterday, but that second pack ain't gonna last no two weeks or more because last night I was like, okay, I'm gonna eat 10 of them. Okay, I'm gonna eat. 10 more of them, two servings. Okay, so I couldn't put them down, right? And so today after I weighed in, I'm like, okay, this is, okay, this is logic. So I say, um, I'm going to finish the pack because if I finish the pack, then I won't open up another pack. Ha <sighs> ha. So yes, that is my confession. I have also been craving like crazy. I live walking two minutes away from my one of my favorite places to eat ever. Um, one of two fast food places because I'm not a fast food eater. I do not like fast food. I do not like McDonald's, Burger King's, Whataburger, Taco Bell. I don't like those places. I like Wings and More and I like Chick-fil-A. Those are the only fast food places that I like. Um, and an occasional pizza from Domino's, you know. But other than that, mm, Jack in the Box, blah, I don't like any of that stuff. I did when I was younger, don't get me wrong. I have definitely had more than my fair share of Big Macs um, and filet of fish I used to absolutely love those places, but I uh, <sighs> don't like them. But Wings and More. Two minutes walking, 30 minutes, 30 seconds in the car. That's how close it is to my house. Like on a good day, the aroma just, ah, is just right there. You can smell it. And a lot, I, I have to walk right past it every day when I go for my walk. And oh my gosh. Ah. I've been smelling the fries <laughs> and I've been wanting those fries so bad. 
I have not given in to temptation. I probably haven't been to Wings and More in over three months. And I'm not saying that I'm not going to go because I'm, I'm sure I will. But I just, whenever I have a free day and I just want to eat Wings and More, I will go and have Wings and More. But guys, I have been wanting those fries so bad. I have a friend that works there. And I just want to text him and say, dude, bring me some fries. <laughs> but um, anyway, so yes, I have been having major cravings. I made a cake a few weeks ago, gave most of it away, like half, more than half. But, but I did eat a few slices. And then I said, okay, the rest has to go in the freezer because I can't touch it. But my husband ate one piece and I threw the other one away because I just didn't even want to deal with it being there. Because when it comes to food, I love everything that is bad for me. Being a pastry chef, I, I absolutely love to bake. I love trying out new recipes. Ah, and I haven't been able to do that. I've tried out two new things since June, since I've been doing this. Um, I baked two new items and no, like three, actually three, because I've never made um, apple crisp and it's never even been appealing to me, but um, there's a pear tree, so we had all of these pears. So I'm like, why don't I make a crisp? Because I have so many, I had so many boxes of oatmeal. So I was like, I'll just try to make a crisp. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Ah, so good. But um, I wanted to make it again, but I haven't. Huh. And that night when I had the pear crisp, I also had some homemade vanilla ice cream by Bluebell, which is uh, my favorite. Well, one of my favorite. I mean, one of my favorites because I absolutely love Bluebell ice cream. So, soon I will, I'm talking about food and I'm just like, uh, I will have, get over my craving and I will go and have me some food fries. I'll only get a small. Uh, <laughs> but I will have my fries from Wings and More because this craving ain't going away. It hasn't so far, so I just don't see it happening. But yes, um, gotta have those fries. And I don't, I'm sure I've said this before, but I am not trying to totally eliminate um, everything from my diet and just not eat it ever because in my opinion to me it is not it's, it's not realistic and that's to me some people can do it I applaud you me mm -mm. I probably could I mean but I'm not trying to I gave up Dr. Pepper almost nine years ago um in about two months a little bit less than two months it will be nine years that i gave up dr pepper never thought that i would do that but i did it so i know i can give up things but i'm not just trying to give up everything and never enjoy food because i am a foodie and i absolutely love to eat i do and um so Moderation is the goal. Have I given up some things and tried to eliminate some things so far? Yes, I have. Not forever, but to kind of wean myself off of them and, you know, um, have them in tiny portions, but not just totally give up um, everything. And I, I'm going all over the place. Um, and Panera Breads, I think it just opened in my town, the very first one. And I've never tried their bagels, but I hear that they have really good bagels. And so, like, I'm just, 
I will go and have a bagel. And did you know, guys, FYI, and you may know, know this already, but a donut is better for you than a bagel with cream cheese. I mean, if I guess if you think about it, duh, because bagels are thick, you know, a lot heartier than, a lot more hearty than a donut and then cream cheese is just like heaven um but and yeah a donut i mean it's basically nothing so i can see why but i i mean a lot of people i mean but the thing is a lot of people do not know that i worked in a bakery where we had ah oh, the best bagels no joke like they were really 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 good bagels and there was a lady that um, worked there, not in the, well, she worked there as well. And she, every morning she would get bagel and cream cheese because she was trying to lose weight. And so people, for some reason, think bagel is healthy. I, I don't know why. Maybe I would have thought that too. I mean, I used to get them every day, not because I thought they were healthy, because I thought they were good. <laughs> but, um, and I told her, did you know? that is better and she's like why didn't you tell me this before i'm like i just saw it on oprah duh <laughs> but yeah um i guess sometimes we'd be surprised if we compared this to that and um anyway guys that is my confession. Pray for me. <laughs> I am having a lot of trouble, but I, today is it. The buck stops here. Um, after today, putting down the cookies for a while. Um, anyway, guys, that's about it. I just wanted to get that out. I had to. I had to be honest with myself. I had to call a thing a thing, people. And um, yeah, so that's it. I've had my fun with the cookies for now. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.